Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Unity Explorer. Ooh, train sounds. But uh, uh how to use Unity Explorer uh, in t uh, to get uh, like Guerrilla Attack and be able to play it on your PC. On your PC, you are going to need um Guerrilla Attack for Steam, which does cost twenty dollars. Sadly, it's so sad. But uh, you will. But if you have it, that's nice. You can do this, it's, and it's very fun. Uh, I got banned for using the Pogo Lockies because it is a cheat. And um, yeah. So be careful how you use it. Um, if people say that you're gonna that they're gonna report you for cheating, either leave the game by pressing Alt F4, which you probably know how to do, or just or just you know leave the lobby. Just leave. If they start reporting you, or better yet, just play in a in a private lobby so that you don't even get reported. So yeah, it's really easy. All you gotta do is let's just leave real tag. Uh, just let it sit out. Okay. So, uh, all you need to do is you need to get Monkey Mod Manager. If you don't already have it, here's how you get it. So, all you wanna search up is uh, let's just go back and just want to search monkey mod man manager and you're gonna want releases dot deadly kitten slash monkey mod manager click that bring you to this github page to the latest version and you're gonna want monkey mod manager dot exe once that's done, all you gotta do is just go to your downloads. Right here, drag Monkey Mod Manager uh, here, and then just double click on it to open it. Here you have Monkey Mod Manager. Okay, so here's what you want enabled. You are gonna you're gonna want uh you're gonna want this enabled in core, the only thing that should be in core. Um and then you're gonna want everything in libraries except for banana hook um selected because banana hook's just kind of wonky it doesn't work uh so yeah once you have all those selected uh then ins then just click install slash update and those will automatically install those files onto gorilla tag okay the next thing you're gonna want is you're actually gonna want unity explorer which what which is what lets you actually like play uh, and stuff like that on on your computer which all you gotta do is search up unity explorer okay you're gonna search up unity explorer gorilla tag and then sin ai and then once you search that up the there should be a github link that says sin ai uh, dash dev slash unity explorer i'm just gonna click that and then it should bring you to this. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be brought to this area. And down here, we have Thunderstore releases. So you're gonna click. Uh, you're gonna click uh, BEP BEP LN EX uh, Mono Mono whatever. Um, and it should bring you to this Thunderstore. Um, I don't know why it says Risk of Rain too. But that doesn't matter. It's it's still grill. It still works. I don't know why it has that, but. Anyways, you're gonna want to do manual download, and once that is downloaded, you are going you are going to want to go here into your downloads, and then you are also gonna want to go into Monkey Mod Manager. And since you installed all that stuff, you should be able to go into Utilities, and you should be able to go into this folder, which will just bring you to this folder, which is in your Girl Tag folder. So. If you're gonna want to go into plugins, this is where all of your mods for this will be. You're, gonna, you're not gonna you're not gonna drag the zip file into here, but you're just gonna open it. Take these bottom two files and just drag them into here. Now we're almost done. There's just one more mod that we have to do, and then I'll show you how you actually work it. Uh, work it. Okay, and that is the camera mod. So. Go back into your browser, 
Uh, and then new tab and search up 70s camera mod. And then don't like auto correct it. It, should, it that's just how it's spelled. So I want to click releases dot uh, seven seventy zero slash seventies camera settings mod. I'm just gonna scroll down, and here are the assets: seventies camera mod dot dll, and you're just gonna click on that, and then uh, that'll be downloaded. Uh, just uh, go into your downloads. Uh, okay, and then, uh, I already have it in here, but it should be the first thing in your downloads. Just drag it in here. It's its own little file, so you don't have to, um, do anything with it besides just drag it in. And, so now, all that should be done, so you can just close your files. Uh, you can just, uh, you can just, like, close everything. Um, I have to keep Mod Manager open. I don't know why. I just do it. You can close it too. But now you're just going to want to go into Gorilla Tag. Why is it like this? Okay. And just press play. Okay. Now that you're loaded in, you'll know that it's working because you'll see yourself in third person here. And there will be Unity Explorer, this like whole thing up here. Okay. So. There's a whole lot more stuff that you can do in here, which I'll be explaining in another video, but for now, we're just covering how you can play. Uh, and this is not, uh, I'm, I don't think this is a thing that will have a patch, because it's just a mod, so. You're going to go into free cam, begin free cam, and then use game camera. So, now you can just press F7 to hide all that. Um, so now, if you hold your right click button, uh... You can just move around your camera with your mouse, and then it's WASD to move around, just kind of fly around. And then space to jump, crouch, just, just like crouch, it just moves you like backwards for some reason. So it's, it's a little buggy, so I don't recommend using it, but space is jump. Uh, you have like low gravity for some reason, and then you have... Uh, and then you have shift to go like super fast. Just like that. It's like uh, fly. It's, it's like actually like flying. Instead of like the weird gravity thing. So yeah. And you can just mess around with this. Um, I recommend mostly playing in private lobbies. Uh, that's how I got banned. Not doing it. Not playing in private lobbies. So yeah. Um, and if you're playing in public lobbies. If someone like threatens to um, report you, just just either leave the game, just leave Gorilla Tag before they report you, or just like you know, um, just like if you're near an exit, uh, for the map, you can just kind of leave, just leave the lobby, uh, so that they don't report you, and you can keep playing in public lobbies. But right now, I I'm banned, uh, so yeah. That's why I just want to tell you. Because it is not fun to be banned. But if you're banned, you can still play on your, like, Oculus account. Where you're just, you know, on standalone Oculus. And guess what? You can play without mods. Because, you know, you don't need mods to have fun. You can just play around. But I find mods more fun. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.